Hi, I'm Kristen Arnett, and I'm here with my good friend Leah Griffith. You may have seen that we did an over 50 makeup tutorial a little while ago. So I wanted to do a video with Leah on something we didn't talk about, but it's really important mm -hmm. that women forget all the time, which is to wash your makeup brushes. So I have set up a little fake kitchen here for you. We're gonna pretend this is our sink. Yes. And that this is running water. Okay. And with that idea in mind, how okay. do we wash a makeup brush? <laughs> All right. Well, it's important first to figure out which brushes have what types of products on them. Okay. So you have powder brushes that have more of like your powder blush and maybe um, eyeshadow brushes with just eyeshadow on them. They're a lot easier to clean mm -hmm. than brushes that maybe have had some gel eyeliner or concealer, something of more creamy, dense mm -hmm. consistency. This one's really bad. Yeah, so remember how this whole thing of like, I'm giving you grief about your makeup brushes? Yes. This brush is the saddest travesty. Oh, and it no. is, it is this, it, it, look at it, it's crying. It's really crying. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring it back to life? Maybe. <laughs> um, so that's the thing is, if it, a brush gets too dirty, mm -hmm. it can go so far over the edge that you've actually damaged oh, the brush. Okay permanently. That's why if you clean it on a regular basis, your brush not only functions better, but it'll last longer. So this is a powder brush that I assume you've used with some foundation, mm -hmm. right? So it's probably a mineral foundation. It's a little bit stickier. It tends yeah. to be a little gunkier. If you don't wash this brush often enough, it will get so gunky and gummy. It doesn't work properly on your face anymore. It doesn't yeah. spread and diffuse the makeup. Okay. So you want to actually dip this brush in water if you have well, the running water or if you had running water that, i'm imagining running water. yes <laughs> <laughs> so you would actually soak it pretty well oh. but did you notice how i only got the water up to a certain point okay almost to where this dark line is right. actually it's a great uh demarcation line here and let that just soak for a little bit because when it's gummier like this i'm gonna just place this over here for okay. a moment when it's gummier like this it's got to take some the water a little bit okay. in there and actually you could put a little soap on there first just to get it going you have to tell me what kind of soap you're using it's magic soap okay no where okay. do i get my magic soap it's, <laughs> honestly it's eco-friendly dishwashing detergent get a little bit of it in the palm of your hand mm -hmm. swirl it around like this and then let it kind of marinate in that so i'm going to let it marinate just a little bit i like that word Okay. <laughs> right. And now you can do this in the palm of your hand. You can obviously do it with mm -hmm. dishwashing gloves on. If you've got a brush that's a little harder to deal with, mm -hmm. I have a gadget. Oh, yes. I like those. Look at this. It's like a pot holder. Okay. This um, is from Sigma Beauty. Okay. And you just put it on your little hand like this, and it's got all these textures. That, that will are, help clean it out. That okay. help get the gunk off. So, for instance, with this eyeliner, sad, sad brush <laughs> you would dip it into the water try not to get it right down to the metal part of the ferrule okay hold this one side okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of da -da -da, the dishwashing detergent so this right is there. called a ferrule that oh yes terminology <laughs> oh, right. that should flash across the screen now the ferrule, the ferrule. <laughs> not like a cat but it sounds like one it sounds like one. Oh wow look at all that yeah look at this okay okay and do you see how i'm doing it in mm -hmm. little swishy circles and look at ooh. that's pretty bad okay so i'm actually going to give this a, a quick rinse in here okay and actually this did a really nice job look when i'm going through a second pass mm -hmm. not so I bad can't see it okay can't even see it so go ahead and rinse this off in our clean okay. water and just keep it and out you can throat. um yeah, dip you it can all do the way that okay. and then use your second hand to just kind of Add a little grit texture. There you go. Just kind of rub my yep. fingers and now, to make sure it's all gone. Yep. Okay. Squeegee it out lightly. You don't want to pull on the bristles too much. Okay. And now Squeegee. lay it flat. There you go. And lay it flat. Because if you leave your brushes drying this way, mm -hmm. all that water and all the soap, or it's going to go down the ferrule, break up the glue, and all your bristles are going to start oh, to fall okay. out. Okay. So that's well. This is good to know. Important. All right. Okay, so with the other brushes, let's say you've got a bunch of these little eyeshadow brushes mm -hmm. here. You can just wash them together at the same time, and you can do it right in your hand. You don't need to do one brush at a time if they're pretty quick and easy to clean. Sure. A little bit of soap. These are just powder brushes, so it's going to be easier. Much easier, much quicker. Boom, you're done. Okay. Now over to the Rinse. cleansing station. Cleansing station. Or pretending there's my, running water. Running water. <laughs> And what's the temperature of the water? 
Oh, that's a really good question. Uh -huh. So you do want it to be warm, mm -hmm. not cold. Cold it doesn't help um, break down things as well. I really can feel well. the temperature of the water, but I was just asking. Yeah, <laughs> and hot would, if you potentially got the hot water down, it's mm -hmm. going to break out the glue even okay. more in the ferrule. So you don't want hot warm, and cold. Warm, room just... temperature. Look how much whiter that is. I know, that was almost it's a clean. Brown brush. <laughs> so watch how it doesn't have to be so complicated. You just, you want to try one? Yeah. I yeah. do. All right. We're going to give you this one. Okay. The baby one. The baby brush? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. We can so, do it at the same time. Very exciting. Fish it. A little bit yeah. of soap. Nice light pressure. Rinse, rinse off. Th rinse that bad boy out. Squeegee. Squeegee. With your powder brushes, you're going to have to squeegee a little differently. You're going to want to kind of hold it while you squeegee it instead of pulling because you'll pull the hair out. So you just kind of squeeze it. Yeah. Just squeeze it and walk it down and then you lay it flat. So I'm noticing that you formed the brush into more of a point. Is that gonna dry out fluffy again? Yes, okay. definitely. The, br the brush hairs are gonna expand out, okay. which is why you never want to just swirl the brush and then leave it, it out. Okay. You always okay. wanna put it back in the form it's meant to be in. So this guy's been marinating a little while, okay. the, the mineral makeup brush. So I'm gonna put him back in the water and then do a little bit of the soap and I should, probably shouldn't have tipped that that way. See, look oh, at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because if I had saying. had the sink and I wasn't, you know, I'm just, I'm using too much so imagination. So don't do that. Don't, don't do, do that. that. Never tip your brush upright when it's wet and has soap on it. <laughs> but, so do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> so is it releasing? It is releasing. Would this be a Can good... Can you see a little yeah, bit? Yeah, Would this be a good place to try the little... Oh, you want rubber? Would Can you I try? like okay. to try the glove? All right. It's the Pop Star brush washing glove <laughs> in hot pink. Yeah, put a little more soap on there. Okay, just get right in there. So it's okay now. I I don't want to shove my brushes down when I wash. I want to kind of go more sideways. Well, yeah, but do like the okay. little swirls. Use the different textures. All Look, right. it even tells you different sections. Wash. Okay. It's okay. like when you go through the car wash, and it's like mm -hmm. wash, wax, rinse. Don't okay. wax your brushes. <laughs> oh, you know, and that's another thing I get asked about is whether or not you should be putting conditioner on your brushes. Oh. Do you? No. No. Terrible, okay. terrible idea. It's just okay. going to leave like a weird film on them. Does that look pretty clean? That looks like it's pretty clean. You can okay. also tell by the color of the foam and mm -hmm. if there's stuff still coming out. So yeah, give it a couple good rinses in there and, and then, then okay. give it more of a rinse in there. Is if you were using running bad? water, you would just kind of keep going until you saw it run clean. I'm gonna drop this like right that. in here so we can wash it. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Then here. Mm-hmm. Good. Then we'll very gently squeegee this out. And look how clear the water is. It is. Oh gosh. Look how happy that brush is. I can hear it. I hear it talking to me. <laughs> I you know love what? you. I'm so I happy. I think this one looks a lot happier too. There's a little tiny bend, but there it's is better. a little bit of a bend. Okay. But I think we recovered it. I think it's out of ICU. Now, doesn't that feel fresh and delightful? It does. And that takes maybe a couple hours to dry, maybe overnight. Just let it I would just it. say overnight because okay. the smaller brushes are going to obviously dry quicker. Sure. The bigger powdered brushes definitely are overnight. Okay. Synthetic mm -hmm. brushes always take longer than animal hair brushes. Okay. So just know That's that if you have know. got a synthetic brush, really squeeze it out because okay. it holds water forever. Okay. I think that's it. I, that That is it. Do you think that you can start doing I this on do a more regular basis? Once a week, right? I know. Make it like a Sunday thing. Okay. We can do that. Okay. Well, I hope you got something really valuable out of this video and you are going to promise to clean your makeup brushes like Leah is. <laughs> uh, if you want to follow the amazing paper crafts that Leah does, you've got to see her social media channels. I will put links below. And definitely Thank follow, you. yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> follow all of mine, sign up for my newsletter for more healthy beauty tips exclusively from pros who know.